let there be light and there was light <laughs> thank you for joining us yes we are doing mother eve and if you have just by chance embarked on this crime queen's channel welcome okay on this channel we are about actualizing self full love self full love is where we are um, occupied with ways of replenishing ourselves because replenishment was a gift that we was given as well I'm talking scripturally here in the King James Bible okay so it is said of course Mother Eve when we whenever we say said we are referring to Mother Eve Mother Eve of course is the one we learn about in the Garden of Eden who is responsible for all the sins of mankind however as it is said that there are always two sides to a story here on this crime queen's channel we are uncovering the other side to that story and this is the thing i think many of us would have been afraid to say what if what we have learned had been a lie now we can say a lie in the sense of having um, the pen in this position. Instead of this position, it is this way. So just not to um, implement anyone in that um, in in that we are accusing anyone, but to say something is a lie is that it's a lie because we have not. This is Mother Eve speaking through me right now. We had not been in a position to look at it and see it this way. So basically, if I am where I'm at now and I'm looking at the pen this way, then I can see it's a lie. It's a line. And if I am in a certain position I am able to see it this way so this is really um, an illustration especially of course here I am manipulating its position um, the pen's position but if I am in a position where I am not quite able to manipulate the pen's position because that's what happened I am not manipulating my position right now but I am manipulating the pen's position only one can function at a time in that sense for us to make sense of what is happening so this is why we live in a world of opposites now this is really delicious because now um, we are now changing our position to look at that story in a different light, so to speak. Of course, now this takes me back. Each time I feel I am really ready to do this major, I feel it's major because um, major um, in, uh, insight of um, what Mother Eve is birthing through me now, it's like, I get a sensation you can imagine the serpent is doing it's moving and that is what I am understanding now intuition is about because there is a feeling a movement that is happening a wave that is happening within us we don't quite know what it is we don't quite know which area it's going to go or where it's going to stop but we know something is happening and this is what I am believing is happening with Mother Eve in these um, presentations that I am doing on um, in the beginning. This is what I have been meaning to do for the past two presentations. So, and of course, because of the, um, uh, I think Mother Eve has sort of um, graduated me in a sense of giving me some kind of um, leeway to make certain decisions and in that I have made the decisions to not have or to have the um, presentations um, a little shorter so it also allows me to process the information too and I think because of the depth of um, knowledge or wisdom that is being transpired here I feel well you know um, let's have um, have these 
at manageable sizes where we can digest the essence of what is being conveyed. So um, I have on this board, let, I'm going to say let's um, do, um, in fact, before I continue, um, in case you're new to this, this is uh, Mother Eve, a depiction of Mother Eve, and this is the sacrifice template. So we use these numbers, one to nine, and the letters of the alphabet, each have their value or common denominator. And we have come to this wonderful pattern of 369, 369, 369. Now, this is really, truly wonderful and delicious. I haven't seen this anywhere else. Again, this was intuitively done. I'm sure there are equations to show this, but I have not come across it. And this is very, um, this is very um, unique in the sense of reminding me and reminding us that we all have a role to play, which is in um, our unique um, DNA, if you like, our unique strand, our uniqueness. So this is what Mother Eve was birthing through me in this sense. Okay, so we also call out Revelation, the last book of the Holy Bible. In fact, we are Genesis. Um, so Genesis is 33. And I'm t I just remember, it's like Mother Eve is saying, remember, you are Genesis. You are 33. You are the number six. And Mother Eve wants us to remember. This is why it is said, you are um, the man, or six is the number of man. And um, not to um, sway too much from the beginning that I want to begin um, is that um, we are of six different um, species. Basically, we were of um, the initial cycle that we are coming from were of six black women. We are the result of the experiment that was done. Now, this is kind of hidden in the numerical value of the King James Version of the Bible. So basically, this is where wisdom um, comes into play and the questions that I do address while I am also reading and while I am also in communication with Mother Eve. Of course, it's like now, like Christ did um, in the story of um, tipping over the tables in the synagogue because people were gambling. And every time I say gambling, I am remembering I've got to do a numer numerical value on gambling because that word in itself is got within it the AM, which is the I am that I am, the AM in there. And it has the me in there. It has B in there. So um, it has a lot to offer in there. But it's that you can imagine when coins are fallen to the floor and money and drinks, if people were gambling, for instance, you could imagine the mess that would be on the floor. Everything is like um, a real mess. Now that is what um, the image Mother Eve is saying that we have come from ourselves. We came from a mess, we could say. There was a genocide. There was an end of something that had tipped over, whether it was a, a hurricane, a storm, whatever. It's something very terrible, as we would call terrible, had happened. And so we are the result of that. So basically... Um, Mother Eve her, wants us to know this and um, so not to um, go on too long with this um, I have got um, templates on to numerology if you want to explore this um, further so and of course we are the product of um, we have 14 gods so we are of six species and all of this consolidated is that the six beings that we are are within our makeup and the gods of course together are consolidated in five which is mother eve so that gives us a degree of comfort so in the beginning we have um dandelions <laughs> Okay, that's how it's coming out. So just to let you know that dandelions equals seven, 
the serpent, which is also Mother Eve, equals 7, and snake equals 5. We have done this, so I'm not going to write this again. So this is 7. We have seen how dandelions, this is where we have got this, um, we have got this in two sets of five as though it were the five as though it were the ten commandments and um, this is how it's coming so if we add this together just to get the numerical value on here we will see um, that that um, equals so these numbers these are the numerical values of the letters on top and of course um, we added or oh, this was where we added the two, these two together, like dandy and lion. We added these together. We were having fun here. But when we add these together here, we have 15, 20. This would be 24. So lions is six right here. But we have seen when we do the numerical value for the word six as IX, which I won't do now again, it equals seven. We also see for 24, two four it's like saying there are two fours in that it's like the seven here as well it's like saying there are two sevens in you meaning that's including the day of rest so the two sevens within us is the two sets of gods which is 14 and of course mother eve encapsulates that 14 as well i have done um anything with dandelions you can check this out again so two fours, it's like saying the two fours are um, is six. Yes, we have we have got this, and we have um, the words yes snake we have done. So basically, we are going to look at um, dandelion is which is seven. We see it is the serpent, so we can't really deny that Mother Eve is there. We see lion. What we do get as well is that lion. When we add lion which is 10, 17, 18, 19, as lion would be um, 10. If we, oh, sorry, I'm adding the wrong um, section here. Here would be um, 23. So lion itself is 23. And lions, of course, would be 24, which would be 6. But that comes under the middle spectrum where we are led into the mouth the mouth which is five this is mother eve which equals eve when we do the numerical value for eve which is five four five this is where we are told again that's um mother eve in fact is 14 plus okay one plus four is five so we see um Back to 24, where I did, um, okay, 24 was where we got this um, numerical value of, um, okay, of 7, oh, okay, of 7, which was 2 plus 4, we had 6, that's correct, okay, just wanting to ensure that I've got this correct, so lions, we have also seen how lion was asking how lion is related to the serpent. But we see it comes to 23 because, of course, we looked at this in two sections. Dandy, of course, is another area we're going to explore. But we see that 2 plus 3 is 5. And that 5 coincides with the um, template right here this is where it is said when you are in Christ you are a new creature well, of course you are the new creature of course you become or um, part of the serpent but we see there's fox on the other side there of course is eight there you it's like this is where we could say mother Eve now is teaching us how to eat of the serpent meaning the serpent the tail where it's got the tail in the mouth in its mouth that's what it is about so to have the circle like this to eat it like this would not be um, manageable because that's the mouth the mouth is already round so it how we have to twist it it's like you were wringing a cloth 
you know, to get the water out of it, to get the juice out of a, a fruit, you have to squeeze it. And that's where the ate, meaning she ate of the fruit. This And she shows us how to really get, so basically it's where the serpent and um, has its mouth its tail in its mouth i hope you have found this insightful i hope you have found this fun do like and subscribe of course um i know this one felt a little bit rushed because i do feel a little rushed but um we are exploring this in depth so this is just like a mini intro again to dandelions thank you